Hey guys, it's Ed Mack here. You know what pisses me off <clears throat> is we have enemies in our country. They're called communists and socialists, right? And most of these idiots went to college, right? And they want to take from those who worked hard because they're lazy freaking bastards and they want to punish us, right? Well, I come from a broken family. My mom and dad divorced when I was 12. I was on my own at 12 at a house, right? I had to work, wash dishes, do all this shit and freaking save money. I got to the point I got on drugs and drank, did some stupid shit, and ended up on the streets in <clears throat> Phoenix living in an abandoned car. I lived with my uncle for a while and they threw me out. I got so messed up, right? And I ended up, my uncle took me in to Boston to learn a plumbing trade. I slept on his couch. I learned that plumbing trade, came out here to have a suit, and I started my own company, and then bam, I made a bunch of money, worked my ass off, got all these real estate accounts, ended up saving money, buying and selling real estate, and retired at 30. I worked, I did it myself. No one helped me, right? My uncle taught me basically how to plumb. And from there I did it all. I don't need to give anyone anything that is mine unless I feel like it, right? I shouldn't have to be told or it being taken from me to give to someone who's a lazy shithead. And this country has plenty of opportunities. This is America. You have the opportunity to become a multimillionaire. It's just you're lazy and you get this little block in your mind. If you, if you can't you can't do it, then don't friggin' don't bitch and complain and try to take from the rich. The rich work their ass off to get where they're at, right? I don't have problems with rich. I have, I have problems with, what, what's sad is you guys, some of you uh, communists and Democrats and all the, you, you're, you're, you hate the rich, but yet the people that are, they're, they're steamrolling your bullshit and your cause are rich. The people that are controlling and funding communism and socialism are rich. Don't you understand? They're the actual richest people on the planet. I don't see you going after them. George Soros is the one that's freaking giving BLM and all these people money. <clears throat> Why aren't you freaking going after him? He's the billionaire, you guys. He's the guy that's causing all your, your grief. Why don't, why don't you take from him? Why don't he give you these free job, free this and free house and free all that shit? You know what? If you don't like our country, you leave the country. You don't try to change our country. Our country is a free country. It's a capitalist country. And I'll tell you what. More than half of us Americans are hard workers. We have firearms and we will use them against you if the shit hits the fan. Don't you understand that? We're not going to bow down to communism. I'm not bowing down to socialism. Communism is treasonous in this country and we will fight. I promise you we'll fight. So you guys want to take away the cops and all that shit and bring in the UN and all. It's just, it's amazing how freaking stupid you guys are because you've been brainwashed by these damn schools. If you have a college education and you're freaking stocking shelves, then you've you've failed. And you need to turn yourself around and start doing something instead of freaking wanting to go after us. Now, I was watching this Black Lives Matter thing and there were white people in the black uh, with the Black Lives Matter. And there was a black cop there. And the white man walked up to the white Antifa looking freaking Black Lives Matter guy, calls the black cop a big no you got a big nose so basically and then he calls the cop a racist and then he's calling him a nig uh, the the nig word right the n i g g e r word to the black cop and the white man who's supposedly with black lives matter is calling the cop a racist when he's calling him the n word and calling him a big nose you got big nose um isn't that the, the kettle calling itself black? I mean, come on, really? <clears throat> You're a racist, right? So what it is, is there's so much hate in the BLM, and BLM is all Marxists and communists. It's just a bunch of punk-ass kids that need their ass beat, and they need to get a freaking job and not leech off the system. I'm sick of BLM. You come to this town, I'm telling you right now, we are a redneck town. We won't put up with shit. I got an M16 behind my seat just for any of that bullshit that comes to my town. I ain't playing games. Come to my house, start freaking throwing rocks through there. Here, the thing is, the cops, the cops will help me do it. We're in a redneck city, man. We're a redneck county. We don't put up with this bullshit. This is our city. It's clean. We all go to work. We all pay our freaking tax. We all pay our bills. And we all come together as a community. We don't need this bullshit in our county. It ain't coming to our county. I'm telling you right now, you guys will end up in a mine shaft. That is a fact. You guys start freaking burning down our buildings and freaking burning and, and stealing and looting, you'll end up in a mine shaft. I promise you. 
the people here at Mojave County will put you in a mine shaft. We don't put up with that shit. And there ain't no one going to save you from us. So, that's the way I look at it. Quit bitching and complaining. Go do what I did. I worked hard under the sun. Freaking sunburns. Working 12 hours a day. You only have to do it for 10 years. You don't need to go out and buy your freaking jet ski and all the bullshit that goes along with life. Don't freaking buy more than what your... You buy what your eyes see? Bullshit. Buy within your budget. Save money for a rainy day like I did. It takes 10 years to become a millionaire. You can work at McDonald's and become a millionaire. Very easily, you can become a millionaire and not have to worry about all this bullshit. And then guess what? At the end of the day, you can tell yourself, I did it and no one else gave it to me. And that's what it's all about. So I am so sick and tired of watching my country. We're in Civil War now, you guys. It's called Civil War Light, but we're in Civil War. Anyways, guys, remember that name, Ed Mack. We